Hey guys and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. As you guys can see we're here in the Pokemon Center because I just spotted this little Pikachu guy right here. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Pikachu, I want to become more like a Pikachu, will you battle me? Um, sure, not uh, entirely sure how this helps you becoming a Pikachu but I mean it's a free battle and I, uh, I'll take those. So you're sending out a Mareep, so that's an electric type at least, not a Pikachu but you're getting there. So yeah, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty great let's go for a shot on this Mareep and uh, try to kill it but yeah in today's episode I want to explore the Salesian ruins which are right of this town and also try to uh, make some progress uh, in the next route and uh, become closer to the next city so if you're excited for that be sure to press the like button down below anyway though we now uh, are facing a Sneasel I think I didn't really pay too much attention yep it is a Sneasel so we have Caesar up front which can just go ahead and mock punch this thing into oblivion and, and down it goes. Up next is a McMortar so I guess we go back to Skip because Skip is kinda helpful against fire types. But yeah my week break is almost over again which uh, kinda sucks. Uh, I didn't really get to do too much that I wanted to do like making videos and okay we miss our much shot that's also not really nice. So yeah, school is starting next week again. Uh, which I guess had to happen sometime, right? Uh, let's go for the uh, water gun so we don't miss anymore. And kill this McMortar. So yeah, that was it for this battle. Yeah, I kind of wanted to skip through this battle a bit. Uh, yeah, sure. Try to find a daycare. Because I do want to, as I said already, uh, explore the Salation uh, Ruins. I think so they are called the Salation Ruins. And I think we have to go... Up here and take this right uh, ledge down here. Yeah, there it is. And I don't know how we get up there. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's enter the Salation Ruins and also catch a new Pokemon in here. And they are indeed called Salation Ruins. Um, what's this though? Top right. Yeah, I can actually uh, read uh, unknown. Uh, yeah, I can actually read the uh, unknown language, uh, which is impressive. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bragging right here. But top right. Oh, they're actually uh, telling all the things top right lower left top right again top left again top left lower left yeah i can't really uh, remember all that but luckily i do have my phone next to me which just has all these messages uh, uh together so that's uh, kind of helps but i want to go down here first because i'm pretty sure we can get some nice items here like this max potion for example so that is pretty useful and um, it said top right first uh, so let's go the bottom right first um Yep, another a rock, but this one doesn't have an item, unfortunately. Okay, let's take the correct one this time. Uh, yep, now we're here. Do you want to battle me? Okay, oh yeah, that's uh, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, this is actually the place in which we get uh, can get the HM for Defog, so that's why we're here. Even though Defog isn't necessary to complete the game, I mean, it's, I guess, just nice to have. And as I said, numerous times already this will be, I am a completionist, so I just want to find all the items there are. And also explore this place for a bit. But we haven't encountered a uh, Mon yet here. Which is uh, kind of weird. But there are apparently trainers in here. I didn't expect that. So let's go ahead and battle this dude right here. Okay he's sending out a Curlia. Uh, that is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I am going to switch out I think. Uh, let's go into. Well actually I, can, I think I can just stay in. Curlia can't really do much against me. Confusion that does nothing. Let's kill you with the water gun right here. Curlia gets Magical Leaf, right? So it was kind of risky to uh, stay in with Skip, but luckily he didn't go for it. And Skip grows to level 27 now. There's another Curlia. Yeah, I just mentioned the uh, Magical Leaf, so I'm not staying in. Let's go into, I guess, Garoon. But yeah, is this coincidence that he has two Curlias? That's kind of weird. Uh, let's go for Dragon Rage, though. You're not a Fairy type yet in this gen, so Dragon Rage can hit you. And let's kill you with the takedown right here. We land it, nice. Next up is the Mr. Mime, I'm just gonna stay in and go for another Dragon Rage on you. You are also not a Fairy type, uh, so yeah, okay, you go for the light screen, that's a waste of a turn, and down goes the Mr. Mime, so yeah, that is great, that was already it for this dude right here. Okay, um, we came from... Where did we even come from? Did we come from here? No, we didn't. Why am I lost right here? This is so dumb, man. Um... Nothing here though. 
Okay, this is actually the correct path. I don't want to take this one yet. Let's go up here then. Or did we come from here? Yeah, we came from this uh, stairway, which kind of makes sense because it's literally the only one that goes upward. So that was kind of dumb of me. Uh, there is nothing. Okay, there is something in this rock, but it's pretty much equal to nothing. It's just a useless berry. But actually, uh, I forgot to mention, but what do you guys think of the uh, new uh, Gigantamax forms that were revealed this week? In my opinion, they're pretty cool. I really love their designs, especially uh, Charizard, which definitely looks so cool, man. It's also, uh, Butterfree really looks cool, and what other ones were revealed? Um, oh yeah, of course, Meowth, the long Meowth, which is pretty funny looking. Uh, fat Pikachu has finally returned after years of being gone. I mean, Pikachu used to be fat, but now it's... Uh, Fat again with its uh, Gigantamax form, which is really cool. And you also have the Eevee, which has now a, a lot of fur uh, around its neck. So yeah, actually question of the day. What uh, do you guys think of the new Gigantamax forms? In my opinion, they look pretty cool. Even though I'm still not too big of a fan of the whole uh, Dynamax Gigantamax uh, mechanic. Uh, but we find a Grappa Berry right here. Yeah, because Gigantamax, in my opinion, it just uh, really feels like uh, a... Uh, bootleg um, mega evolution because they got rid of mega evolutions and then they proceed to introduce another feature which is really similar to mega evolution like why man why just not keep mega evolution uh, anyway though there's something here another empty rock uh, okay so let's go down this one i think this is the last uh, stairway we have to take yep and here we are in the final room with another message friend friendship all lives Touch other lives to create something. A new and a life. Okay, that's uh, kind of weird. But we do have some free items right here, which is uh, pretty uh, nice. So we find the treasure room in this uh, whole dungeon thing. And we find the HM for Devox, so there is the HM, which is just useless. We also find an iron plate, which is pretty cool. And last but not least is the twisted spoon. So uh, we can actually go ahead and give that to Bronzong maybe, but... I didn't encounter any wild Pokemon, that's kinda weird. Did I miss something or... I don't know man. Yeah, I honestly don't know why I'm not encountering any Pokemon. Can't I encounter Pokemon in here and... Okay, I'm not entirely sure how I get back. Okay, never mind, our encounter for the Soleil... Yo, that is an absolutely great encounter, man. A freaking Salamence. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention this as well, but last episode I caught a Sparrow in the Lost Tower, but... I was dumb and I didn't uh, notice that I encountered a Pelipper earlier before that Sparrow, so... Yeah, I actually still have to release that Sparrow, so unfortunately Nemo isn't gonna return in this LP because I have to release it. It wasn't my first encounter, yeah, I really should pay more attention in this game, but... Yeah, I just ran away from that Pelipper, which was really stupid. Hopefully I, uh... Don't run away from the settlements. Well, I definitely won't do that. But yeah, let's try to catch this thing. Let's go into Cobalt. I really hope you don't have Dragon Rage though. Ember, that's... Uh, okay, that doesn't do too much. We, uh, let's go for the Hypnosis then. We landed nice. Uh, let's go for a couple of extra sensories. But yo, Salamence is a really great encounter. Okay, I'm scared to go for another one. So let's go for the Tackle. Focus Energy. Let's go for one more Tackle. Okay, and uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch into Phantom because that Ember is kind of scary there. We get burned, really. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the Hypnosis on you. We land that nice. And yeah, let's try to catch this thing now. Um, Pokeball. I do have a Dusk Ball and this is a cave, so... Should I use it on the Salamence? Let's just try a Pokeball first. And if it doesn't want to get caught, maybe I should try my Dusk Ball. One, two, three, and... There we go, we catch ourselves a Salamence. That's a really great encounter and I'm really tempted to add it to the team, but we do already have a Dragon type in a... What you call it, in Gabite, so... Uh, Salamence is just power the PC for now, but uh, let's come up with a nice nickname for this thing right here. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, I guess I can just call you Skylar or something. Yeah, I'm bad with nicknames, as you guys already know, so Skylar the... Uh, where's the... Oh yeah, Skylar, not Skylar, that's a gym leader. But Skylar, the Salamence, is going to the box. So yeah, really great encounter. Uh, I think I actually have a uh, escape rope, don't I? Really, I don't. Uh, nope, seems like I don't. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the point in which I finally escape from this cave. So I'll see you guys in a minute. 
Okay, I'm back. It wasn't actually that tough to escape from that cave. You really just had to follow the stairs up, uh, which kind of makes sense. But this is actually a new route in which you can catch another new Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do that, but also pluck these berries real quick because having some berries in your pockets is really important in case you ever uh, find yourself running out of food and you realize you have some nice berries you can chew on and they're good for your stomach and good for your throat and all that fun stuff. But anyway though, now that I've uh, wasted enough time with my uh, dumb little talk right there, let's go ahead and catch a new Pokemon right here. Let's say Chimchar, but I'm gonna count that as dupes because we do already have a uh, Infernape, but pretty cool encounter though. Okay, uh, let's try to encounter a real Pokemon now instead of a Chimchar. A Weezing. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Weezing is pretty good. I mean, it only has one weakness because of its levitate ability, which is pretty good. Let's go for Hypnosis so you don't explode, because that's what you're pretty famous for. Let's go for the Nightshade. Okay, that's Assurance, and that did a lot. Let's go for Hypnosis again. We miss. Are you kidding me? And there's the Self-Destruct, of course. I guess I spoke it to life, right? No encounter for us. I think that's a second mon uh, that uh, exploded on us, so we couldn't catch it. I think we also encountered a... Uh, what's it called? A Pineco uh, a few episodes ago, which also self-destructed, so... Yeah, mons really like to self-destruct in my face. Let's battle this guy, though. My Pokemon toughened up while working on the ranch. I'm right to be proud of them. Uh, sure. Uh, let's battle Ghost Rider Liliana and his Drifloon. Okay, um... I'm gonna switch out though, uh, so let's send out Felix against you. I want to at least finish off this little route before uh, ending off this episode. I think it isn't too big because we can't go up. Uh, because there are a couple of Psyducks blocking our way I'm pretty sure. And I probably should put up a Repel as well. Yeah there is another Weezing. I don't really want to see you anymore because you just self-destruct and... That isn't really nice if I want to catch you. Uh, let's go up here and battle this trainer right here. Hey, talk to me, man. You're not a trainer, really? Okay, then. I really thought you were a trainer. Are you a trainer? You're not a trainer either, but you're giving me a TM, which is uh, pretty nice. What is it? TM51, which is going to be the TM for Aquatil. That's pretty good. Okay, nice. Thank you. So we're finally getting some nice TMs, so uh, that's pretty great. Let's battle these two uh, people right here. And I see another double battle up there. Yeah, double battles are really scary in Nuzlocke's man, but they're pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Phantom and Garoon are facing off against an Articuno and a Nummel. Um, I probably have to switch out with Garoon right here. Let's go for the Hypnosis on the Articuno and switch into... I guess... I guess Skip? Skip is my best bet. I can't go into Caesar because uh, Namo is also part... Uh, part ground type. And we miss Hypnosis, of course. Magnitude, that did nothing. Let's uh, heal up Phantom and... After that, we go for the Water Gun on the uh, Namo. And hopefully Oko this thing. There's the Ice Shard again. Water Gun is an Oko, nice. So now we just have to deal with the Articuno right here. Um, let's go for the... Uh, Nightshade and the Water Gun. Okay, a couple more should do the job. But Ice Shard is kind of scary though, not gonna lie. Really, you're living. Um, I think we can take... Actually, I'm gonna play it smart. Let's go for Sucker Punch. Yeah, there we go. So we don't get hit by the Ice Shard. Don't risk a crit. So that is what we call Pro Strats. And that was already it for these guys. So uh, let's go ahead and heal uh, what you call... Phantom up because you kind of got to weaken there. Use one more and... Yeah, let's battle the rest of these trainers on this route. There are the trainers standing there and... There's still you there, so let's battle you. You're a rookie breeder, so you're not on Brock's level, unfortunately for you. But you are a god, apparently, with a Cacnea. Let's go for the Nightshade. Yeah, Phantom really needs to get some better moves because... Really, his only damaging move is the uh, Nightshade and Sucker Punch, but... Phantom's uh, physical attack is really bad, so Nightshade is really pretty much only the the only reliable move Phantom has. So yeah, I really would love for Phantom to get Shadow Ball or something, but I'm pretty sure that takes a while since uh, Shadow Ball is a really good move. Let's go into Caesar on this uh, Rose Raid, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. So go for the Flame Wheel and nice, that's Oko. And we grow to level 28 already, so that is really, really great. Okay, there's nothing here, and the Psyducks are up here, I'm pretty sure. 
Yep, there they are. And we do need the uh, secret potion, I think it's called, uh, to get rid of them. But we get that from Cynthia after we beat the fifth gym, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that takes a while before we reach that point. Uh, we don't need to heal up. We do need to get up on our bike though. So let's try to get up this ledge right here and... And battle these twins right here. Mom, Pa, Max and Joe send out Miss Mages and a Celebi. What? What is up with these trainers, man? They all have legendaries and stuff. Um, we go... I can't really stay in with the... Uh, with Phantom because as Miss Mages is in and Celebi is also a Psychic type. So I'm gonna switch out into... I guess... I guess Caesar, and we go for the Dragon Rage on the Celebi then. There's the Heal Bell, that's fine. There's the Astonish, which probably wouldn't have do, uh, done too much against uh, Gengar, but we're better safe than sorry, right? So let's go ahead and go for the Dragon Rage on this Miss Magis. It lives, and it goes for the Grawl. Yeah, I remember my Miss Magis. It didn't really have any good moves, and it also pretty much died the first battle it had. So, uh, yeah, Rip, uh, what were it called? Magic, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that was it for these guys though, not too tough. So let's battle this last trainer right here. Hey, check it out. Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur. Um, what is your Pokemon? A Slugma. I'm pretty sure Slugma doesn't have fur, but I could be wrong. I mean, you can check it out. You're probably gonna burn your hand, which isn't too nice, but... I mean, you need to check out its luster, right? Okay, he goes for the hard and let's go for the mud shot. That's the Oko, nice. And next up is the Manectric. Let's just stay in against this Electro-type and go for another Mud Shot. Really it lit? Okay, let's go for the Mud Slap then. And yeah, down it goes. Okay, there is an item though that I want to grab, so let's get off our bike and... It's going to be Sacred Ash. Okay, that's useless. I think at least. Or is it like a full heal? I don't know. Um, there's... Oh, right, there's still this uh, little house right here. Um, Yeah, let's just take this house on and after that uh, end of the episode probably. Because there are still some trainers that we can battle here, I'm pretty sure. Um, do we need to put someone else up front? Not really. Let's battle you. Holy Traveler. Wait, you're not a trainer? Oh, you said there are a couple trainers that want to battle though. And they only sell Mumu Milk. No, thank you. Well, actually, Mumu Milk is pretty useful. Let's buy a dozen. I mean, it's pretty cheap. And it uh, heals our Pokemon for 100 HP, which is pretty helpful. And you are a trainer, so let's battle you. Operator Wayne and Needle Queen. Okay, that's cool. Let's go for the Nightshade. Poison Sting, that does nothing. So yeah, a couple of Nightshades should do the trick right here. Down goes the Needle Queen. Wait, Phantom wants to learn. I didn't see what moves it wants to learn. Payback. Um, That's physical, right? Yep. Can you just learn a special move, please? Um, I'm just gonna keep my moves the way they are. Okay, um... More trainers, I think, so let's put you up front right now and... Yeah, let's go ahead and battle you. You're a collector and you love honey, I mean... Sure, if that's what you like to do. Okay, Electric. Electric Pokemon versus Electric Pokemon, but I'm just gonna send out Garoon against you. And go for the uh, Dragon Rage right here. Really, you live? Okay, let's go for the Takedown then. And that was it for Electric. Do you have another Pokemon? No, you don't. Okay, that was pretty easy then. Okay, you still uh, we still have this uh, old man right here, but he isn't a trainer, so you're the last trainer, I think. Yep, one more collector. Schoolgirl Jonathan and his Spoink, so let's just go for a couple of uh, Thundershocks right here. Magic Coat, okay. I wasn't about to uh, set up rocks or something, so that was kind of wasted. Another Magic Coat isn't gonna save you from this quick attack, so take that and die. And yeah, that was it for this battle. So yeah, let's go ahead and leave this uh, little building right here. And do we still have some time left? Yeah, we do. So let's go ahead and take on the rest. Well, not the rest, but a bit of the next route. Route 215. Okay, I'm sorry for that. My game was really lagging and it's still kind of lagging. I don't know what's going on, man. Um, but there is some grass right here in which we can catch a new Pokemon, so... Let's put Phantom up front and try to catch a new Pokemon in here. So a lot of encounters this episode, which is really great. So yeah, let's see. Our encounter for Route 215 is going to be a Radicate. 
I mean it isn't bad, Radicate can be pretty powerful but it's kind of disappointing since there are a lot of cooler Pokemon like Salamence for example. Uh, let's go for the Hypnosis on you. Okay you have the Sucker Punch um, and the Bite, I should probably switch out. Yeah let's do that, let's send out Cobalt. You didn't go for Pursuit luckily so that is nice and did you really predict my switch? You're a really pro player man, you're not even a uh, trainer, you're just a Radicate. A wild eradicate, but you did have the pursuit, so luckily you didn't go for it when I switched out. That would have been pretty, uh, pretty bad. Um, let's go for the. Uh, I guess you can take one extra sensory, right? No, you can't because we crit. Are you kidding me? Well, that's the second way to counter this episode. Isn't that great? Um, let's go ahead and battle this trainer then. Let's put uh, Felix up front again. Yeah, that sucks, man. I just really want to catch some Pokemon, but I just can't. You're a treasure hunter, good for you man. Cyclist N and a Chimeco, let's go ahead and go for a couple of thunder shocks on you. Okay nice, we get the para and there's the confusion, that's... Did a solid amount, not gonna lie. Let's kill you with a quick attack though, and next up is going to be... Ninetales, uh, okay we do have skip for you and it is raining so this water gun is gonna hurt even more. So let's go for uh, let's go for that move and okay you can take it because yeah nine tails per death is pretty good I'm pretty sure but yeah down goes the nine tails skip goes to level twenty eight and that was it for this battle um am I gonna end off the episode right here uh yeah I think I am so yeah in the next episode we will go ahead and finish off this route to try to reach Philstone City and yeah I want to thank you guys for watching also be sure to answer the comment question of today which was. What do you think of the new Gigantamax form? So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!